standing shamefully in a courtroom, surrounded by demons on my left and angels on my right, Satan as the persecutor holding millions of records about my life and God, sitting on a throne with a mighty gavel in his hand. I had no lawyer placed on trial for things such as lying, stealing, and fornication. For this was the beginning of my tribulation, for there was no reason to plead an innocent statement. For all the evidence was sitting right there with Satan. The demons smiled as tears rolled down the judge's eyes, for they clearly knew that now was the hour of my demise. But wait, in came a light shining so bright that the demons smiling suddenly jumped with fright. And the man that walked in that night was none other than Jesus Christ. Darkness departed to give way, and glory was all the angels could say. As the man that walked in that night pulled out a lighter and immediately set Satan's records against me on fire. He took the sentence file and erased my name, looked at me in the eyes and said, daughter, I'll take the blame. Handcuffs were placed on this man and he was thrown to the ground. The entire courtroom gasped at this horrendous sound and the sudden seized the beat of his heart. The man that walked in glowing had now become dark. I did this to him. My lying, my stealing, my cheating. And he took the pain and spent three days in the hell that I was to go to for eternity. I left the courtroom that day and there was nothing I could say. I was found innocent for Christ handled the debt that I was to pay. This type of love is more than you could give to a girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife. This man died for me. I owe him my life. And even though my life is not at all worth it, how could you ever trade preference for perfect? See, I gave my life to Christ and suddenly picked up a mop. The lying, cursing, cheating, all that had to stop because my life had been bought. And it'd be a shame to sit there and do nothing but let it rot. I'm not perfect, and the will 